this is the anterior of the skull and you can see the anterior cranial fossa the middle cranial fossa and the posterior cranial fossa and in the cadaver this is the anterior cranial fossa this middle this butterfly shape is the middle cranial fossa and this is the posterior cranial fossa and the, there are the 12 pairs of the cranial nerve the first cranial nerve that is the olfactory nerve the olfactory nerve it takes exit from the either side of the crista galli this triangular plate is the crista galli and on either side of the crista galli there are the numerous foramina these are the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone from where the first cranial nerve the olfactory nerve take exit the second cranial nerve that is the optic nerve it takes exit from the optic foramina and this optic foramina continues as an optic canal and the either side of the optic nerve there is a crossing that crossing is called as the optic chasma and you can see the second cranial nerve this is the second cranial nerve that is the optic nerve and inferior lateral to the optic nerve there lies the artery this is the ophthalmic artery which is the branch of internal carotid artery the third fourth and the first part of the fifth that is the ophthalmic and the sixth cranial nerve, cranial nerve it takes exit from the superior orbital fissure there is a fissure this fissure is the superior orbital fissure as you can see there is a fissure at the upper aspect of the orbit this is the superior orbital fissure through which the third that is the oculomotor fourth cochlea first part of the fifth that is ophthalmic and the sixth that is the abducens it, it is taking exit from the superior orbital fissure the sixth cranial nerve this is the sixth cranial nerve that is the abducens nerve this is the fourth cranial nerve that is the trochlear nerve the fifth cranial nerve that is the trigeminal nerve and the trigeminal nerve it is coming from the ganglion that is the trigeminal ganglion this is the layer of the dura mater and below to the dura mater you can see a ganglion this ganglion which lies at the anterior aspect of the petrous part of the temporal bone this is the petrous part of the temporal bone and near to the its anterior aspect there is a concavity and this concavity that is mean for the lodgement of the trigeminal ganglion this concavity is called as the maccal's cave or the trigeminal cave which lodges the sensory ganglion for the trigeminal nerve and the, the three roots of the trigeminal nerves are the uh, max, uh, first one is the ophthalmic second maxillary and third one is the mandibular and you can see the three divisions of the trigeminal nerve this is the trigeminal ganglion and the three divisions of the trigeminal ganglion first one is the ophthalmic taking exit from the superior orbital fissure the maxillary division taking exit from the foramina rotundum and this one is the third part of the trigeminal nerve that is the mandibular nerve and in the dry skull you can also see this foramina this foramina is called as the foramina rotundum from which the maxillary nerve take exit this oval shaped foramina this oval shaped foramina is the or foramina ovale through which the mandibular nerve take exit the sixth cranial nerve that is the abducens nerve as you can see this is the sixth cranial nerve abducens nerve the seventh and the eighth cranial nerve the seventh that is the facial and the eighth one that is the auditory it takes exit from the internal acoustic meatus as you can see this is the internal acoustic meatus and in the dry skull you can also see it this is the internal acoustic meatus and through the internal acoustic meatus the seventh and the eighth cranial nerve the seventh along with the eighth cranial nerve it take exit from the internal acoustic meatus below as you can see in the posterior cranial fossa there is a foramina this foramina is called as the jugular foramina and the jugular foramina that is meant for the passage of the 9th 10th and the 11th cranial nerve 9th that is glossopharyngeal 10th vagus and the 11th that is the accessory nerve and the accessory nerve it consists of the two components that is the cranial part and the spinal part as you can see this is the jugular foramina and through the jugular foramina there is a passage of the 9th 10th and the 11th part of the cranial nerve and this 11th part of the cranial nerve along with the spinal part of the accessory nerve taking exit from the jugular foramina and the 12th cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve and this hypoglossal nerve taking exit from the hypoglossal foramina this is the hypoglossal foramina and in this 
at the anterior aspect slightly anterior to this you can see there is an exit of the 12th cranial nerve that is the hypoglossal nerve 